the uh, well, not your own, you're majority owned by yourself and, and Jan, um, but you're backed by WPP. Um, has that worked out well? I mean, uh, they've left you alone as far as I, I can see, which is, uh, but they've given you the, the backing of a, yeah. a big multinational. Is that yeah, the right. benefit? Yeah, we're, you know, it's, we've been lucky in the sense that we're, you know, still a small agency, but we, we're doing, you know, these, these big, big global campaigns. And, mm. I, and the, you know, WPP connections definitely helped in that sense. And it was always, you know, from the very beginning, it was important. You know, for the I and I to be able, to, you know, determine the, the destiny and the shape of the agency going forward. So we were always only, you know, going to do it if we were, you know, um, majority shareholders, so we could make those decisions. But you no, know, it's been very, it's been very good, and I think um, it's, you know, in, in an era where, you know, we're having to work with, you know, multiple partners, any agency mm -hmm. tells you they can do everything is, you know, it's just not the case. Um, it's it's proved very helpful. But you've and also you've managed to attract some very big clients for a small agency. You've got yeah. Google, Coke, Sprite. Uh, you've just recently picked up TripAdvisor, and you do projects for, and and Mondelez, 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 and um, projects for Nike, YouTube. When I mean, they're all big brands, um, you've avoided the small the small baby ones. Apart from the very beginning, I, I think you started off with, with yeah. Nomus well, Boots, yeah. and that was. Um, but it just shows your creative yeah, um, there was potential. Always, there was always an ambition to the best and biggest you can get, yeah. You want your creative work to, you know, have influence and, you know, and to um, become part of culture. But, you know, just starting off, you know, you need to, you know, Start somewhere. Is you, mm. you're going to have to prove yourself. So we, we started off working with, you know, smaller brands. But I think what was, what's important in that case, even if you are, is that you're doing the sort of work that you, that you want to define the agency. Mm. So the first work for Nomis that we did, you know, the Ask Your Feet campaign, um, the first work we did for TED, even if, you know that early work for Daffy is, and, and then some of the early work for Google, very much set the foundation for you know the agency that we're going to be growing into over the next couple of years. Mm. And you were pretty hot um, right from the start with um, the local like, like ad age and creativity always put you in their top fifty ones to watch and all that, all the stuff. So you were you were very well uh, lo loved by the industry from the start. Was it did that help a lot with the? Yeah, it did. It with did. your press and it's you know. interesting how as a as a creative person what you know um, you know what excites you you know and what your and what the what your ambitions are because when you start an agency I think part of the reason that you started um, or at least for us it was true is that we you know we were becoming too comfortable mm. you know and I think that's you were at Sanji at that skills, stage yeah, yep, yep, all the skills. Yep. Um, it's, you know, and, and the kind of the, the shaping of a creative person, I think one of the core ingredients is to always feel out of your depth, always feel uncomfortable. Yep. And, you know, s since you started the agency, you have that feeling just always in different, in different ways that you have no way of predicting. And that's what keeps the job, you know, exciting because we I don't know if we could have, you know, um, kept going on as, as, as creative directors as, as, as we were and remain as excited about what we did. Yeah, but you started the, you started the agency in two thousand and seven, just before the crash, yeah. and then um, and you didn't have any clients at all. Yeah. Um, was it a, a bit of a scary first day? Well, you don't, <laughs> you don't know anything else. <laughs> exactly. you, you know, you don't know anything else. Yeah, and um, yeah, it was it was definitely. I think there were periods of well, if we can if we can do well through this, then yeah, you know, it's not going to get any well through anything worse. <laughs> and, exactly. Um, yeah, so that was it was interesting, particularly for for Daffy's because one of the you know they were of, they were an off price retailer on the east coast, mm. and that economic crisis just meant that, that their competition had quadrupled. So a lot of the work that we did was specifically aimed at you know helping them break out of the club. Yeah, but <coughs> yes, um, it made us. I think it made us made us stronger. You know, having having to, to prove the value uh, of creative work, um, and obviously clients were looking. Yeah, but you. Media. you you were solving their problems, which is um, um, there's no luxury that you could take, you know, yes, yeah. as, as a CMO. And I think now it's still pretty much true. Is I think there's there's with all the other things that they feel like they need to be doing, creativity is no longer an indulgence. It actually mm -hmm. needs to to work hard and it needs to solve problems. Absolutely. So that's the, that's how. I and I think you've learned a lot more by having your own agency in that in that, yep. that way. You're not you're not just a a creative team at a, at a, a comfortable age like Sarchi was. Yeah, well, you, direct, you directly 
um, exposed to what some of the clients yeah. might. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're dealing with the clients directly. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's sometimes there'll be something that's said that you just, you know, you just feel you can't avoid that. You need to keep coming back to that one thing. And um, we've done that. Con we constantly do that as, as a creative team. But you've, you've been basically running the place for seven years, you and Jan. That's a compliment. Yeah, Thank absolutely. Because you're assuming that we've run it you know, enormously well. <laughs> you have, you have. Um, but now you've, you've almost got the luxury of a new CEO yeah. and uh, new ECDs from Australia, yeah. Tom and Julian. Yeah. Um, this obviously relieves a little bit of um, you know, the pressure on you yeah. personally to do everything. Also, I mean, so what, what does they, it make a difference they, um, to your both, life? Both, you know, Mike Duda is, um, it's, not, it's not only, you know, um, relieving us, I think he's bringing an entirely new skill Kill that sets, we yeah. would only be lying to ourselves if we said we had, um, and allow us to concentrate and make a contribution uh, in, a, in, in ways that we haven't been able to to this point, so we're excited about that. And then Tom and Julian are just a very rare breed of, of creatives, and, um, you know, there was an affinity right from the beginning with those guys. Yep. Um, and you know, it's just been since they've been here. Um, they arrived during a horrendous, probably the coldest, you know, winter, flood <laughs> um, that, that I've had since being here. So, but they survived that. Yeah. And you no, know, since being here, it's just confirmation that um, you know they are exactly you know the right the right team to run our creative department and just make sure the quality of the work not only remains but gets better. Yeah, they're Australians. You're Australian. Uh, Jan's the South African. You've got so many different nationalities. I mean, is that important to have a real multinational shop? You know, it's, you know, we live in a global world. But um, I think it, one of the things that's always that we've tried, you know, from the beginning is not to impose our own style on clients. Yep. And I think part of doing that has to be to arrive at, arrive at um, when you're making stuff and coming up with, you know, executions to be eclectic in the tone and the way that you express stuff. And definitely um, having you know a, a real mix of you know people from different cultures and walks of life has helped. Yeah. Now, one of your first well early clients was Google, and you've kept them. Um, you know, the probably the most cutting edge company on earth that should change their agencies every year. You would have thought because they want to keep and they want to get the latest, the hottest shops all the time. And you've kept them. You're the, the longest agency on record with them. Um, well, which is a surprising to the. Lucky. Um, what keeps yeah. your what keeps your head of that? Well, we were I think because we were you know one of the you know early ones to be working with, and we were lucky enough to you know work with Andy and, and Robert at Creative Labs and just get an understanding of the Google brand, um, mm. and that has helped as obviously Google has grown um, and you know created you know you know. Had marketing leads and you know on their different products, it just helped us you know understand the brand um, as as well as they do. And you know we're very proud that we're you know, one of their you know longest serving agency partners because you always whenever you touch a brief that comes from Google, you're always humbled by you know what it is that they do. Mm. And in, in a lot of a lot of cases, you just want the advertising to get out of the way. Absolutely. And, and hero. That, that it is, that yeah, they tend to hear the, the actual product. I mean, it's very simple stuff. Yeah. The product is almost what's what Google does, like Google Chrome you introduced, didn't you? And it was. It wasn't Chrome. We did um, some of that. You know, oh, you did the. Demos. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yep. And Rebrief was a big one. I mean, that was the Grand Prix at Cannes and Mobile. Yeah. Yep. That was an amazing um, project. That, that was. That was it was one of the most <coughs> special things about it was that you had, you know, I think. It, kind of spoke to, you know, um, where our industry was at because you had someone like Harvey Gabor who'd obviously been retired for, you know, 30, you know, 40 years, mm. um, however long it was, um, up on up on stage collecting the, you know, the Cannes Grand Prix for, you know, mobile, you know, the newest, <laughs> the newest <laughs> category that they, they it's very strange, you know, introduced. Yeah. And I think and he did the, you, like to teach the world, that, world you know, of coke. There's, there's things that were, still are important. Yeah. It's just now that we, you know, have... You know, we're just empowered to, to do it, express them in lots of different ways. Mm. So, um, you've, you've hired Tom Martin and Julian Schreiber, um, and they're very much like you. They they they're very multifaceted. They they're used to doing very integrated work. Is that the thing that attracted you to them? That, that they they have done the the integrated stuff that you, you you do here as well? Yeah, I think because 
And it's it's odd because on the surface, yes, but I think the inverse effect of, of being a creative like that is it opens you up to looking at where the problem is that the client actually has. Yeah. And it, I, you know, if I just take you know the TripAdvisor, you know, pitch as an example, I know that that was really important. The fact that we were um, we we identified the the issue. Um, and all of our, our work and our ideas were, were sort of created off that. Mm. And so on the, on the surface, yes, obviously being you know, integrated and being able to you know, um, do that's important, but I think it just opens you up as a creative person to um, not, not having any predispositions about where the, where the actual issue, where the problem is that you need to solve. Yeah. yeah so I think that was... Well, you, you won that pitch um, against some really great agencies in t- town. Who, who do you consider your main... main Adversaries. Um, you know who, who, who you sort of have. A, a we, I mean, all of the. Um, you know, there's a lot of good agencies yeah. out there, and I think the. Um, you know what you, you know what you kind of learn quickly, quickly on is that what um, is, you know, because we're you know we're often pitching against agencies that are you know. Four or five times the you know, size. Yeah. Than us. Yep. Is that you can? Um, it's easy to be intimidated by you know the the, the, um, the, the number of people they'll have on it. Mm. But what we've what we've learned is that you actually it can actually be a, hu- a huge advantage. Um, you know, just embracing kind of you know who we are. And as you know, we've been again we feel um, we d- that's what makes you 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 proud of someone who started an agency is is seeing you know um, people. You know, punch above their weight and, mm. and win against some of the best agencies out there. Yeah, because some obviously, you know, at the end of the road, they're buying a an idea or two. It, it doesn't have to be more than four people in the room yeah, <laughs> when it comes down to the, the actual buyer. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and they're dealing with you. You know, they're not dealing you know, that's with one underlings. Th- yeah, we'd often get asked who, what clients you want to work for, mm. and our response is always, you know, it depends on who the, who the individual is on, on that side, and you know how visionary they are and how brave they are and all those things. Mm. So more important than the category or, you know, the brand. It's, it's who the client is. who the client Yeah, is. that you're going to be dealing with. Well, you know, you started very young and, and you came up very fast from your award school start in Sydney. Um, and you, you're a big star in, uh, in New Ze- Australia, then New Zealand, then London, then New York. Uh, what advice have you got for the next little Leo out there? Um, I think. I mean. I think the the most. In, I think it's self belief. You know, yep. having that. Um, having that. You know. Can, you know. Self belief and not and not let it waver, and then following through on that with with you know a lot of hard work and dedication. You know. I think is probably the most important thing. You know. um, the it's it's interesting. Is like the the things that were important. You know. To me as a, as a junior creative. You know, being proactive are still very important today, but they just manifest in themselves in different ways. So, as a junior, you're proactive because you feel like you're not getting the sort of briefs or the opportunities that you know you want to get. Um, whereas, and when you start an agency, you're proactive because you want you know to bring opportunities in for those those working here. So, what that meant is you know on Google and Coke, so we're kind of knocking on doors and you know and being proactive in that sense. So. Those those skills are, will always remain important, mm. and um, and then just making sure at an early stage you get a good mix of experiences. You know, you, more important than the agency you're working for are the individual creative directors that you're exposed okay, to. Choose that, you're, the, that you're learning from. the best you can. Yeah, and um, and you learnt from like Michael was, Sullivan, and you've learnt from had, Tony Granger, you know, Toby, who was Toby. you know who was willing to work with a kid. Yeah, exactly. you know, I had Mike who kind of took took me on board. Um, and and then also young, you know, mm. um, when I arrived to Saatchi, London, you know, obviously he had much more experience, but um, you know, that willingness to work with me, and I think that that perseverance and ambition can be a can be a redeeming feature. Mm. But I would say, um, I would say, you know, stay, you know, have the self belief, you know, as as to you know your your skills, and make sure that you're not, you know, you're you're working. Um, towards what it is that you know the sort of creative person that you want to be 